Archer Aviation. Here's everything I know about the new Georgia manufacturing facility. Right guys, I'm here to discuss all the updates and information I have about the new manufacturing facility in Georgia. But before we start, please do something for me. Go now into the comments and write what type of eVTOL content you want to see and I'll try my best to do it for you. A little rule though, you must be a subscriber so make sure you click that button. Archer Aviation's decision to establish a manufacturing plant in Covington, Georgia marks a pivotal step for its strategy to revolutionise urban air mobility with its electric vertical takeoff and landing aircraft. This strategic move is not only about scaling production, but it also represents a calculated bet on the future of transportation and its impact on the company's financial and stock performance. Let's first speak about the establishment and strategic location of this facility. Orchard's chosen Covington, Georgia for its manufacturing facility due to a combination of factors that make it ideal location for such an innovative venture. The site is adjacent to the Covington Muncie Airport, providing immediate access to flight testing capabilities and logistics. This location was selected after an extensive evaluation process that considered labour markets, utility availability, construction costs and logistics. Georgia's established aerospace industry with over 800 aerospace businesses offers a supportive ecosystem for a new venture like Archer's. The state's commitment to fostering innovation as voiced by the governor Brian Kemp along with its robust educational infrastructure in aerospace including specialised high schools, technical colleges and universities ensures a skilled workforce ready to engage with cutting edge technology like eVTOL. Here's what I know about the factory details and production goals. The manufacturing facility in Covington is set to be expansive, with an initial build-out of around 350 square feet, aimed at producing up to 650 aircraft per year. The plant's design includes the potential for expansion by an additional 550 square feet. This could see the production capability increase to 2,300 aircraft annually. This scalability was a key consideration in Archer's decision-making process, reflecting the long-term vision to dominate the eVTOL market. However, the construction timeline is aggressive, with initial production expected in early 25, following its completion by the end of this year. This timeline aligns with Archer's broader commercialization plans, leveraging partnerships with companies like Stellantis for manufacturing expertise and capital efficiency. The establishment of this facility is not just a string for the bow of Archer Aviation, but also for the local and state economy of Georgia. The project promises to create over 1,000 jobs over the next decade, offering pathways to high skin manufacturing roles. This job creation is supported by initiatives from the state, including tax abatements, land grants, and grants from the Georgia Regional Economic Business Assistance Program, or the REBA, totaling about one third of the planned capital investment. Such incentives are crucial for attracting innovative companies like Archer, which in turn stimulate local economies through employment and infrastructure development. A nice one shared in the Discord was Archer is currently advertising positions such as Senior Manufacturing Engineer, Senior Product Quality Engineer and Manufacturing Program Manager in Covington, indicating active recruitment for roles integral to their manufacturing operations. I believe it will be either this month or next month we'll be seeing it open. This facility will have financial and stock market implications. For Archer Aviation, the Georgia plant signifies a transition from research and development focused operations to large scale manufacturing, a critical phase for any startup aiming for commercial viability. The financial implications are multifaceted. Firstly, the plant's capacity to produce at scale could significantly reduce per unit costs, making Archer's eVTOL aircraft midnight more competitively priced in a market that is still finding its feet. The cost advantage could lead to better profit margins once the aircraft are commercialised. Secondly, the tangible progress towards mass production reassures investors of Archer's commitment to scaling operations, potentially leading to a stock price stabilisation or even a further uptick. The stock market has shown volatility with Archer recently, with significant jumps and drops correlating with its project milestones or partnerships like those with Stellantis. The Georgia plant's construction and eventual operation could serve as a positive catalyst, especially as it moves from construction phase to operational, providing clear measurable progress that investors can rally behind. However, the current financial position of Archer, with reported losses and high capital expenditure of such projects, suggests that while the long-term outlook might be positive, short-term volatility could persist until production and sales stabilise revenue streams. Archer's strategic positioning with this plant aims at not only local, but global dominance in the eVTOL sector. 
By establishing one of the largest eVTOL manufacturing facilities by volume, Archer is setting a benchmark for competitors like Joby Aviation. This facility will not only produce aircraft, but also serve as a centre for testing, quality assurance and further research and development, potentially leading to innovations that could give Archer a technological edge in the market. The partnership with Stellantis, which includes manufacturing and engineering support, reduces the risks and costs associated with scaling up production, thereby enhancing Archer's market positioning. The collaboration ensures that Archer can leverage established automotive manufacturing techniques and supply chain efficiencies, which is crucial for the automotive-like production volumes that they aim for. This could lead to quicker market penetration once FAA certification is achieved. We're expecting that around the end of 25, and this will further impact the stock's performance positively if the timeline holds. There are some challenges in risk stock, so bears, keep your ears open. While the benefits are significant, there are inherent risks. The eVTOL market's success is contingent to regulatory approval, customer adoption and infrastructure development for urban air mobility. Any delays in FAA certification could push back timelines, affecting both cash flow and investor confidence. Additionally, Archer's financial health with consistently quarterly losses indicates a dependency on further investment or partnerships to sustain operations through the costly build-up phase to commercialization. The stock market's reaction to these developments would also depend on how Archer manages these challenges, communicates its progress and aligns with the market expectations regarding scalability and profitability. Negative surprises such as production delays or cost overturns could lead to stock price corrections. Archer Aviation's Georgia facility plant is a cornerstone in its strategy to scale VTOL production, aiming to lead the urban air mobility market. The benefits extend from operational efficiency and cost reduction to significant job creation and economic impact in Georgia, with the current job openings highlighting the company's readiness to operationalize this facility. For Archer's stock, this facility represents a beacon of the future growth, but it also comes with the caveat of execution risk in technology and market development. The success of this venture will be measured on how efficiently Archer can navigate these challenges, secure certifications, and convert its ambitious plans into operational reality, thereby potentially driving us to a stock value upward in the long term. For me, I'm accumulating Archer at the moment, as I want this position to be worth over $1 million. But how many shares will I need? Well, you'll find out here next.